My name is Solomon Alice Growing. I'm a freshman here at Liberty High School, and I'm part of many communities. I'm a member at, of FBLA, I'm a community member of HOSA, I'm a joint member of French Club, and I'm a member of Debate Club. I'm the class of 2020, and like nearly 19 million high school students in the United States as of 2015, I am an immigrant. There are about 40 million immigrants living in the United States today. This accounts for about 13% of the United States population. And 11.7 million of which are illegal. to United States um, because United States is a land of opportunities and we wanted the better future for our kids. Corruption on all um, social levels in our uh, country was extremely high. Economic turmoil after the collapse of the Soviet Union led, uh, led to unemployment and all situation in, in the country was horrible. But how do these hard-working immigrants affect our economy, politics, our major workforce, and most importantly of all, our society? I would say overall the effect is probably positive. Um, and what would be your reasoning? So. Economically, I think that they do affect it positively. I think that they, you know, despite what some people will say, they do do a lot of jobs maybe that other people wouldn't want to do. They do pay into the systems, into taxes, you know, purchasing, things like that. Um, socially, I think they, illegal or non-illegal, you know, legal immigrants, um, I think it's a foundation that we were started on is the diversity that they can bring, the cultural, you know, influences that they bring. Um, you know, there will be people who say, well, they do impact it negatively. You know, they're taking our resources or they're criminals or whatever. Um, but I would say the majority of people who may be here without documentation are not doing things to hurt our society um, and are really part of what makes our society great. Well, people might ask, how do these people affect our economy? Well, let's break it down. America has exports. But these exports come from people. Agricultural products. They nearly account for $160 billion as of 2014. Manufacturing. Which contributes to over $2 trillion to the U.S. economy. Immigrants all contribute to 50% of exports. Politics. Immigrants have affected the political system since America was founded because the founding of America was a group of immigrants. So that continues to be the case today. It's just a, it's a place where people of varied background, varied religious opinions, varied um, economic desires, uh, family motives come together to in a de democratic system to try to um, look at what the common good is. So they affect it by bringing their, you know, their new backgrounds to a place which already has a lot of other backgrounds. So in some regards, they might stall our system simply because 
bringing more and more people together that have diverse opinions. Sixty percent of immigrants are from Mexico. Bienvenidos. Trump proposes to build a great wall that would decrease the amount of illegal immigrants. This would cost around twelve billion dollars, according to Trump. Workforce Immigrants Account for 5% of the working class America's working force Do you believe that Americans should be stricter on limiting an influx of people like us even though they may be dangerous. Actually, uh, United States has a strict reg regulation already. Uh, it is hard to enter the United States um, even for just traveling or visiting your relatives. Um, I don't know how uh, the immigration system can be more strict. For dangerous people, um, I think uh, that if the criminals decided to be in the United States, he or she will use all possible actions yes. to get there.